Right, I hope everyone's doing all right. So, um, thought I'd show you another one of Jim Gracie's brilliant mouse traps. Um, he's got loads of these on his web page, which is graciebonsai.com. I'll put a link in the description, like always. So this one's called the Bowl and Wood Mouse Trap. So as in, that's a wood mouse. Um, so what you've got this is kind of like your trigger mechanism and it does resemble a mouse funny thing is his resembled a mouse slightly better than mine so you've got this triangle piece of wood it's got a slot carved in it for this piece of wire like the um, mouse's tail to sit in Two um, hook eyes, whatever you call them. A loop in this end. A slight bend here for the edge of the box to sit on, and then just another little loop just for you know make it look right, I suppose. I'll put a picture of Jim's one now. So what you would do is you want to get a nut or something that will go through here but strong enough to hold but something what a mouse would chew. So I've just got a little bit of kind of um, I think it's like a rice cracker type thing. So I'm just going to try and do it so you can see it. So this goes through. And then through this one, and then there to the other side. You see that? And then the idea is, it's another one what relies on the mouse just chewing and eating the bait, which is something that they commonly do. So it chews the bait, then that will release this one, and it will come down. So you then get a bowl or a box, place that, like that. Plenty of room for a mouse to get under, and when he chews that bait, this will come down. took the bait out and I've just got to hold it here just to show you because these rely on the bait being chewed but once it's been chewed then down it would come and catch your mouse inside right cheers for watching and I'll see you later